is good? YouTube, Krishan checking back in with another video. Let's start today's video off with some big news coming straight from Tyler Mannion, courtesy of RX Muscle. In 2025, the Pittsburgh Pro will be introducing men's open bodybuilding. And not only that, first prize is going to be $100,000, second prize is going to be 50 k making this the fourth highest earning show in the sport outside of the Arnold Classic, the Mr. Olympia, and of course the Dubai Pro, who's giving away a ton of money. But this is big news. My only concern is... How is this going to affect the guest posing? Because I'm pretty sure some of those top Olympians are going to want to throw their hat in for that 100K. But let me know in the comment section below, what do you guys think? And next up, we have a recent update from our current reigning Mr. Olympia, currently about nine days out from defending his Olympia title. And Derek's biggest criticism this entire year, probably his entire career, has just been lack of detail in the upper body. But whether Derek brings that to this year's show or not, he definitely has worked very hard on improving the detail in the upper body going into this year's show. And Derek looks great here, but don't get me wrong, do not get too carried away by what we see in gym. It doesn't always translate to the stage. Derek showcased plenty of detail in his upper body last year, but still lack that on stage. As you guys know, I do have Derek winning this year's Mr. Olympia, becoming a two-time and it's looking pretty good based off of these updates. It's looking like the champ is truly going to come in improved. And next up, I want to talk about Samson Dado for a little while, the winner of this year's France Pro, currently top three in the world, and is looking to come in and win this year's Olympia. Surprisingly, a lot of subscribers have been DMing me, asking me, do I really think that Samson can win this year's Olympia or just flat out telling me Samson is going to win this year's show? And without a doubt, this guy is beyond impressive. Samson recently went on his story and talked about the struggles he's went through mentally this year, just leaving Milos the text made on him and also his wife. And I haven't talked about it, but the fact that other channels even mention this guy's wife is absurd to me. That will never happen over here on Go Fitness, but... I'm looking forward to seeing what Samson is going to bring to this year's show. These images have definitely been touched up a bit, but this guy has done it once again. Samson Dada has improved from show to show. Back is better. Conditioning is better. Now in the next update of the day, this one is a couple of days old, but one of the more recent updates of Hunter Labrada. I currently have Hunter placed eighth at this year's Olympia. Looking at this update, I may have actually placed this guy a little bit low. I know a lot of people are not a fan of Hunter because they feel like he was gifted placings in the past, but I'll tell you guys this, Hunter is huge and it looks like he's figured out his conditioning. This is not classic physique, we're talking about men's open bodybuilding, and Hunter is huge and looks like he can get in shape. Hopefully he doesn't fade on stage, begin to sweat, that is literally Hunter's biggest issue, but I like what I'm seeing from him. I think he's going to be a little bit better at this year's Olympia than he was at the Italy Pro. Hopefully. Most muscular is just wild. Now next up, we have a recent update from Andrew Jack. Not seeing any physique updates, but we are getting images like this, so I figured we would talk about them. And let me know in the comment section below, what do you guys think Andrew is going to bring to this year's Olympia? Based off what I'm seeing in images, it looks like Andrew is conditioned, but he also looks jacked as well. This guy looks huge. And I find it very interesting that myself and probably four or five other channels placed Andrew in fifth going into this year's Olympia. He could definitely place higher, but out of all of the different predictions I've seen, and as you guys know, they can vary from channel to channel, most of us seem to be in agreement that Andrew is going to place fifth. What do you guys think about that? Actually, Psycho Lewis commented on my last video, and I don't think he was very happy with me placing Andrew in fifth. And in the next update of the day, we have a recent update of Rafa Brandau, also ahead of the O. And Rafa looks full-on action figure in this image. Now, I'm not going to dive too deep into this shot because I'm pretty sure this is some effect made by the mirror. I highly doubt that Rafa is editing his photos, but I don't know, guys. I'm pretty sure something is going on with the mirror, unless Rafa has just actually mutated and is going to come in massive to this year's show. But... Really rooting for Rafa. I've been rooting for him the entire year. In my predictions, I have him placed sixth. I'm excited to see him. Now, next up, the guy actually placed in 10th in my predictions for this year's Olympia, Akeem Williams. And I'm feeling great about their prediction seeing this update. I'm really thinking Akeem has revived his physique this year working with Chris Aceto. He's brought great packages to every show he's done this year. And honestly, despite the Mr. Olympia going to be his third, maybe fourth show this year, if I'm not mistaken, 
it looks like Akeem is actually going to bring his best. Now, let's not forget, this guy has been as high as top six at the Mr. Olympia. Not saying he's going to get there this year, but it's worth mentioning. Now, next up, we have a recent update from Regan Grimes, a offseason update at 296 pounds. Now, at first glance at the image on the left, I was actually very impressed, but just thinking about it, I know that Regan is a taller guy, and he's 296 pounds and looks a little bit fluffy in this update. The guys that are about Regan's height, they're really not under 300 pounds unless they're getting ready to compete. I really think that Regan is going to need to push his weight up to really add that size on and get that muscle maturity that we're all looking to see. And especially with the sport of bodybuilding getting more and more competitive every single year. And speaking of the sport getting more competitive, we have an update from Carlos Thomas Jr. that he posted on his story a couple of days ago. And I believe Carlos was supposed to be competing in this year's Arnold Classic Brazil versus guys like Rafa Brandao, Tony Obert, and Good Vito. But Carlos ended up losing someone very close to him, took a little bit of time off from pretty much everything. But he posted this up with no context at all, but let's hope we get to see Carlos on stage soon. This guy is another potential top 10 Olympian in the near future. And switching over to 212, we have a recent update from our current reigning Olympia champion, Keon Pearson. And based off updates, I think Keon has been pretty much almost stage ready for weeks at this point. I would be very surprised if we don't see Keon come in at his all-time best. And I think the best aspect to all of this is Keon is bringing his best. He's obviously suffering. He's bringing the conditioning, but everything still seems to be on track mentally. Huge improvement from years past. And staying on the topic of 212, we have a small update from Sean Clarita. No pun intended. I'm pretty sure we aren't going to see any updates from Sean going into this year's show. He posted one at about 15 weeks out and he said that was going to be it. 212, I feel like, has honestly died down in hype. I don't even see many people talking about Keon Pearson, Sean Clarita, or any of the other guys in the division for that matter. But let me know in the comment section below what are thoughts on Keon versus Clarita. Does Clarita have a legit chance at winning back this 212 Olympia title? And let's switch over to Classic Physique. We have a recent update of Michael DeBull, also ahead of this year's Olympia. And huge shout out goes out to Michael. This guy recently won two shows, the Legion Sports Fest, as well as the Titan Grand Prix. Michael was sixth place at last year's Olympia. Terrence is going to be out this year, but Wesley Vissers is probably going to move into that top five. So if he wants to move up, he has to knock out a guy like Brian Ainsley or Erz Kalasinski. And let's not forget, Mike Summerfield. I believe he's coming in very strong this year as well. But as usual, Michael is peeled. Now let's go ahead and wrap up today's video here with the archive of the day. You guys let me know in the comment section below who is this legendary bodybuilder. And as always, I hope you guys did indeed enjoy this video. I do apologize for the late updates. It's kind of hard for me to make videos right now between Monday and Wednesday with the new job, but still working on the schedule, guys. We're going to get it down, but don't worry. I did take off time for the Mr. Olympia, so there will be plenty of videos coming out next week. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'm Christian from Go Fitness. That is it. I'm out.